Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Tina and I hope you all are having a blessed day. Today we're going to be talking about my favorites for 2018 and a few fails. And if this video is cut up in any way or stopped and maybe things look different, it's because I'm um, trying to get through filming two or three videos today. And so you'll see the same outfit a few times and also... Um, I'm a little bit congested, so I know that you're hearing a different voice. I will not be singing for you all today. There's really no point in me trying to sing at all. Just saying. So, so, and they're in no particular order. They're just things that I personally found in 2018, not to say that they were produced in 2018, released in 2018, that is not what this video is about. It's things that I found in the year of 2018 that I love, and a few things that I would already know that I would not purchase again, would just not care to have again. Maybe I'm working through it, but I would not um, put it back into my collection. I believe that my favorite thing that I found skincare wise for the year 2018 was Pharmacy's Green Clean. And um, it is a balm type cleanser, green. Um, not that I could smell today, but I don't even really know why I sniffed it, other than I like it. It has a lime scent to it. And I I would venture to say this is my favorite balm cleanser ever. Like if you put this up against Clinique's Take Off the Day, uh, that purple jar balm, hands down this would win because it doesn't burn your eyes. Where that balm burns around your eyes as you're <clears throat> taking your makeup off. You can literally just bathe in this crap. I mean, just put it all over, slather it. It's amazing. So I would say my number one find in the year 2018, but favorite. I'm going to go ahead and say a fail right here because they came together. And they are actually promoted together as a duo. I am literally doing everything that I can do to try to get through this bottle and look how full it is. I mean, I don't know if you can tell how full it is, but it's it's up there. Just, anytime I'm in the shower and I'm washing my face, I'm using this to try to get through it. I would never repurchase it. I don't like the scent. I don't like the way my skin feels, but I bought it. I'm using it. I would not repurchase it, um, which is weird because these are promoted together. Love, not so much. It is what it is. Um, another thing that I found this year that I really, really love is the Real Techniques sponges. This is the, uh, it isn't the only one I have because I do have this one. This one's hard. Even when you wet it, this one's wet um, and just freshly washed. But because of this pointed edge, you can get right up in under the eye for concealer. Or in this case, I like to use it with this Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer, and it just gets right up in the eye. And um, I have a little clip of that I could share with you, but um, if you all are interested in this, get ready with me. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I can release it. I did film it, um, and I do have the footage, but this is sponge, there's just something about the texture of it. The way you can just use this to get all over the face, there's a good surface area, and then this to get up in the tight areas. I just love it. This little diamond, um, I don't know if it's a set of things, but there's there's other pieces to it. Like this is the fan brush that comes with the same set. See the kind of purple brush? There's several pieces to it, but this particular sponge, I really, really like it. The perfume that I found for myself in the year 2018 and um, I would repurchase and will probably always be a part of my collection as long as they make it, is um, the Poison Girl by Dior. In um, And I bought it in the Roller Pearl. Um, it is a, a roller ball, which they're not really known to be, to making roller balls. Dior doesn't really have a whole, you know, it's not the, what they promote. 
but there's something about the scent of this that is just I don't know if it reminds me of my mother which does isn't a selling point for young girls I realize that um, there's something about it that's homey to me there's something about it that invokes some type of memory that I haven't even quite figured out but I love it and it's very oil, it's like an oil in here um, it's a thicker liquid and I'm not really feeling smelling anticipating any type of alcohol or uh, astringent anything like that um, it's just soothing it's soothing on the skin the smell is soothing I love it I really love it is it my holy grail did it knock off Tom Ford Velvet Orchid? It did not. That is my Holy Grail perfume. But this is really good. One of the things that I found recently, I have not had it a long amount of time, but oh my lands, am I so in love with my new Ugg bedding. Oh my goodness, it is like you're curling up in a brand new pair of Uggs, except it's all over your body. It They are so comfortable because the inside of the comforter is the inside of the boot. It's the same exact texture. It's the same feel. Comf now, of course, you have a sheet in between you and it. Otherwise, you burn up. It's too too much to hit directly on your body but where your body hits it from the sheets by your face and your arm you know maybe you put your your sheet in here and your arms in between it and that is just got that snuggly feeling <laughs> it's a favorite of both of us we both are in love with the new Ugg bedding um, and another thing that I got this year it is not a new product by any means, they've kept, they've had these for years and years and years. This is the first time that I myself have ever picked up a Guerlain Meteorites um, product. Matter of fact, it's the only Guerlain uh, product that I have at all. Um, it they do come with uh, the sponge that I have never used nor tried to use. This is a finishing powder that I finish with pretty much every time. I wanted it in Claire and their 2018 holiday uh, packaging comes with Claire. So I haven't picked it up. It could be gone, um, but I might pick that up as well. But this is in the number two medium, number three medium, I'm sorry. And it is just a, a light set of pearls which could be half the reason why I love it. Anything that says pearl or daisy, you know me, my two favorite words. And you would think that the scent, the florally scent would put me off, set me off. I don't know if it's that you get used to it maybe or what, but it is one of my favorite things. It, it just puts the most perfect finishing touch to your face as you you're ready to head out the door your last step and um it just makes it beautiful love that love 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 that okay i don't have it in here so i guess i'm gonna have to just oh yeah i do it's out of my purse another favorite thing that is in my that's why it's here is my new coach bag fall 2018 and wallet so they come, it's a set. There's several pieces that come along with it. Um, honey got this for my birthday. That was my gift from him. And um, I actually wasn't really interested in getting a coach bag, but they seem to be reviving themselves. Um, they went through a lull for a few years and as soon as I seen it, I was like drooling over it. So honey picked that up for me for my birthday. But another, um, I would call it, love it more than the Dior. <laughs> Let me just be clear. Uh, that if you haven't watched my Christmas haul, you won't know what I'm talking about. But um, I have a thing with lip balms. I love them. I love to have them on at all times. I love them more than lipsticks. 
I have a pretty pink lip anyways, so I can get away with just wearing a balm. And I have many that I love that I'm like, I would say my all time favorite that I found also in the year 2018 is my high end is the pharmacy um, honey butter. <clears throat> and it's a high end line, but the balm is only $10. Okay, so $10 for the high end. And I love it more. Uh, that might be iffy. But my drugstore one is the Revlon Kiss Balms. I got the one, the tropical one. Oh my lands, I love this stuff. I can't, I might love it more. I have lipstick on, so I shouldn't put it on, but I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. I like the taste. I like the feel. Um, High-end drugstore. Iffy on which one I love better because I love them both. Love them both. Now, I love the packaging of the um, Estee Lauder a hundred times better than the other two. But this $30 price tag does not make it a product that I love inside. I, it's an okay balm. I wear it at night or if I'm going out to dinner um, to kind of put on after dinner, I might throw it in my bag. But in general, um, I love it for the packaging. I don't love it for the product. There you go. But one thing that I do love for packaging and the color and everything, and that came in a set of four, um, these little kits that we kind of, I think it was on sale when the VIB sale was on. I think that's when I got it. It might have been the appreciation sale. I really don't recall. But um, they came in these little four set uh, of Marc Jacobs lip glosses. But this one, the kind of more purpley one, oh my lands. As soon as it's out, I'm going to buy it in the full size. I am absolutely going to buy it in the full size. And I'm not normally a real purple wearing person. But the texture of these, love all of them. But for a color payoff and last, I would say that the... I like them all, but I love the purple one. This is the one I would repurchase because it kind of as it wears off, it kind of wears with a, a still a sheen on your lips. It's not, the other ones are kind of lighter and they go on more sheer and you don't see them as long. So I think it's the purple, love it. And what's interesting is I house them in my grandmother's little vintage lipstick case that she always had on her vanity my uh, I remember it in her by her vanity my whole life and I got this when she passed away and that's where they live right here on my vanity I just love that okay so I'm probably gonna get a little bit of a um I'm gonna get some slap I'm gonna get some negativeness I know I am I wore today the Emily uh, Want the Wants palette. That's what I have on my face today. And um, it's okay. I, I think that it's okay. But I, the, for the price point, I think it's fine. But I don't, uh, I just don't have a love. And I'm going to, I don't have a love for the, the Needs palette. Um, I want to, but currently, it's just, when I did, I've only ever used it once, but when I tried to use the contour, it just went crazy, and I only dipped my brush in once, but it was so pigmented, I think I just need to relearn. I've only ever used it that one time, never used it again. So I guess I can call it a fail, because when did we get them? October, I've literally only used it once. And um, the Needs palette, Maybe today was the third time, so I just, I'm not reaching for them. But if you all are interested in, and I believe that it's coming, please let me know in the comments below. I think I'm going to work on 
um, in my Project Love uh, series that's coming up in 2019, um, either a weekly Shop My Stash or a uh, semi-weekly Shop My Stash so that I'm working on one palette or one um, set of makeup products for that week and we just go through it and um, and see what kind of use that I can get out of that. And that's all going to be part of my Project Love series, a quarterly video that's going to come out in the year 2019. And hopefully from then on, talking about products that I have found that I was just really, really enjoying out of my own stash in the year 2019. But if you're interested in me adding a Shop My Stash weekly um, overview of everything that I used that week, uh, and then picking out for the next week. Let me know in the comments below and we can add that. I'm, always, I'm iffy about adding the Shop My Stash, but I will absolutely do it. And um, I'll, I bought some clothes. I think it was maybe right before my birthday, so in September. Um, and I shared this in a haul video. But I get so many compliments on this jacket. I think it's because of the blush ties and the um it's not pink it's not tangerine it's blush it's a true blush pink and this jacket i'm not kidding you i get comments every single time i wear it so it says love on the front it doesn't say anything on the back it's a hoodie and um i would say that it's my favorite thing that i purchased in the year as far as clothing is concerned uh, other than this white sweater, which I got really at the, maybe in February, um, Walmart. Got this sweater at Walmart. The This jacket came from JCPenney. And um, I would say this is probably my favorite of the year, as far as a jacket is concerned. Um, and again, I was shopping at Walmart. I can't, I don't buy clothes at Walmart, but this sweater came at Walmart from Walmart. But I got these workout pants also at Walmart. Now I normally buy my pants um, at Macy's and they're $60 a piece. And I saw these there and they literally looked exactly like them. And they were $12 at Walmart. So I picked up a couple of pair and they're by this company called Avia or Avia, A-V-I-A. And I really like them just as well just as well so save yourself the money and pick you up a couple of pair at walmart next season or whenever they are these are capris i always have to have capris and because um i'm a little person they're pants on me but they're capris for you all i think that i would purchase them instead of the ones that i oh I, every year i get me a couple pair from macy's well that's 120 dollars for the two pairs unless you get them on sale then it's maybe 80 dollars for the two pairs but um from now on, I think I'm just going to pick them up at Walmart. Why not? I mean, save yourself the money. Nobody cares what kind of pants you're wearing at the gym. Another thing that I'm loving, and I'm going to pick it up right now, is my Instant Pot. I literally am in love with my Instant Pot. And here she comes. Okay, folks, here she is. My Instant Pot by the Pioneer Woman. She's bigger than me. I got this, I think, for my birthday, so in September. Um, I love everything about it. I use it weekly for for dinners and and um, lunches and sides. I use it every single day for my breakfast. I boil me a cup of soft-boiled eggs on a piece of toast for breakfast. And if you're a Weight Watcher follower, um, it ends up being five points for breakfast because the eggs are zero and three points for my toast and uh, I use a teaspoon of butter. It makes it five points for my breakfast and absolutely love it. And I would say this runs a really close tied neck and neck, the, the Instant Pot and my Ugg bedding for number one. If I was ranking, oh, I love them both. I can't even decide which one I love more. Okay, folks, I think that might be everything that I found that I loved in the year 2018. Now, not new to me for either thing, 
2018 or new in product. Um, but I have them and I did not care for either one. But the minute I put them together, they became magical. <laughs> I would call for me the Bye Bye Foundation a fail. And I got this Stila um, One Step Color Correcting Primer. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, didn't really care for either one. In, in a fluke situation, I mixed them on the back of my hand. I think I had this out, didn't realize it, poured this out. Thought, oh, might as well just use them. They're there. Mixed them together on my lands. You put these two together, it's like heaven. I'm in heaven. Yeah. And my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. Yeah. I can hardly speak anyways because I'm totally, totally stopped up. But not new. I didn't buy either one in 2018, but put them together. I really care for them. I really, really do like them. And I know I'm going to be adding some new favorites already for the 2019 year. I don't feel comfortable putting them in there yet because I did just get them. But um, I can pretty much bet that this is going to go in 2019. Let's see. Let's see if that makes it to 2019's favorites. So you catch up with me next December and we'll see how that worked out. I will catch you all again in 2019. Bye-bye. <laughs> God bless.